The Queen is joined by new dad Harry and Prince Philip, 97, for evening pageant after presenting Best Trooper Awards alongside the King of Bahrain at Windsor Horse Show. The Queen was joined by new dad Harry and Prince Philip for the evening pageant after presenting the Best Trooper Awards alongside the King of Bahrain at the Windsor Horse Show today. The 93-year-old monarch changed into a mint green dress with a silver jacket as she was accompanied by the Duke of Sussex and the Duke of Edinburgh. Prince Harry wore a sharp navy suit while the Duke of Edinburgh chose a forest green overcoat with a pair of grey trousers and brown shoes. This year's 90-minute Royal Windsor Horse Show pageant will feature music, the household cavalry, artists and dancers, and marks the 200th anniversary of the birth of Queen Victoria. It aims to bring together memorable events from the Victorian era, as the participants of the theatrical performance recreate 19th century Britain. Earlier in the day, Her Majesty opted for a stylish light pink check coat with a matching hat and sunglasses as she chatted to Hammond Benisa Al Khalifa. As one of her favorite equestrian events of the year, held in the private grounds of Windsor Castle, Her Majesty beamed with joy as she presented the best turned out trooper awards. The Queen and Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa also presented the Kingdom of Bahrain Stakes trophy together. The Queen made three outfit changes today, as she wrapped up in a raincoat and headscarf to watch the action in Berkshire this morning, just days after the arrival of her eighth great grandchild. She had ditched her formal attire and braced herself for the threat of rain in a collared khaki trench coat, matching gloves, and a green silk headscarf with delicate patterns on it. The monarch drove herself to the event in her black Range Rover and mingled with other spectators while taking in the action. Her husband Prince Philip, 97, arrived in the passenger seat after giving up his driving license earlier this year following a collision with another car near the Sandringham estate that saw his Land Rover overturned. The annual equestrian spectacular sees competitors taking part in a range of events from show jumping to dressage along with displays from the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery and Dax Pony Club. The Queen didn't let a bit of rainfall dampen her spirits, and instead took shelter underneath a wooden hut to take in the action. The five-day event is now in its 76th year and attracts well-heeled visitors from all over the world. It sees competitors taking part in a range of events from show jumping to dressage, along with displays from the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery and Dax Pony Club and is the only occasion on which members of the public are able to enjoy the palace grounds. Yesterday the monarch looked in great spirits as she entertained the King of Bahrain, Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa, alongside her son Prince Andrew. The family were put up by the Crown Prince of Bahrain at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel, where suites start at £900 a night, from Friday. They also spent an all-expenses-paid VIP day at the race. Also in attendance at the Royal Windsor Horse Show today was Princess Anne, who looked smart in a grey skirt suit, teamed with a turquoise silk shirt and a gold horse brooch. Last year, the event fell exactly a week before the royal residence hosted the wedding of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The Queen is believed to have attended every single year since it began as a wartime fundraising event back in 1943. The event is intrinsically linked with the royal family. Both the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh competed at it during their younger years, with Prince Philip entering the carriage driving at Royal Windsor Horse Show for 30 years, winning it just once in 1982. In more recent years, the Queen has watched many of her own horses take part in the showing class competitions.